Graham and Katie join us now. Guys, I can't even imagine how difficult this must be for you. Um, how are you coping at the moment? I mean, well, it's been very difficult. Um, just very surreal seeing him yesterday um, because we didn't know if that day was ever going to come. Um, a long time we thought that was he ever going to be found or hand himself in? So just very surreal, emotional. So let me just jump back, Graham. How did you feel then, or what went through your head when you realised and you were told that he had fled, he'd gone? It, it was unbelievable because um, it, it took nearly three years for the trial to actually happen. It was a very complex investigation. Um, and then on the, we only found out on the day of the trial that he wasn't going to appear. Um, thankfully, the judge allowed the trial to go ahead, but it, it was utter disbelief. Um, and we were just thankful that the trial did go ahead. Um, but I think the, the big thing for us was when the judge did award six years, we had no way of knowing whether he would actually ever be serving his sentence. We didn't know where he was. Mm. Um, and then we had this time gap before he was actually located in Georgia. When did you find out that he was in Georgia? Was Jan it like the rest of us when yep. on the Pretty news? Pretty much. Yeah. Uh, um, and the police, for very good reasons, couldn't share with us the information of what they knew or how that side of the investigation was progressing. Um, so, yes, it was pretty much as the general public found out. God. And, and yesterday was, do you say, it was the first time that you'd, that you'd seen him in...? In, in, in the dock, yeah. Yeah, it was the first time. And, of course, um, you having yeah. to relive that horror again. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it was... Um, for us, though, I mean, the, the, I think the judge summed it up very well. He, 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 in his summing up notes of awarding him an, a, an additional six months, he did say he was very selfish. Mm -hmm. um, and he the shown, judge said this. The judge yeah. said this. He, he, he has shown no remorse. He showed no remorse he, He's shown no remorse throughout this whole trial. I think that's uh, what struck us a, uh, a lot, and, actually, the yeah. lack of empathy. Um, so the fact that he sh showed no remorse, mm. as a dad... Oh, well, he's just been... He, he said some preposterous things and... and to us, lies. Because at first, he when you know. he when he did uh, when he was uh, in, in trial, he yeah. uh, he pled not guilty. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Unbelievable. Uh, well, and he, he is, he's he's um, made a thing in the papers recently that um, Charlotte was driving the speedboat, and I'd like to say that is we've only got his version of events mm. for this. Yeah. There is there is no definitive proof e either way, mm. and, and the only eyewitnesses of that night saw him driving the yeah. speedboat. There's no eyewitnesses of yeah. her driving. And the, of the actual fact of driving a speedboat or letting Charlotte drive a speedboat was actually gross negligence in itself. Mm. You, you would never let a novice take control of the boat. He was the master of the vessel, yeah. it was his yeah. boat. I mean, I, I have a boat myself and I know that yeah. I would never give it over to somebody who was not experienced yeah. in, in driving it. You um, just wouldn't. He um, lived on a houseboat at yeah. the time, so he's experienced and, uh, the water. Knowing all this and putting all these facts and the things that have been said and the way mm. he's reacted, his not being remorseful. Blaming yeah. her. And blaming her for it. I mean, yeah. how, how, how has that helped your kind of grieving process? I'm, I'm, mm. Has it helped or hindered? Well, definitely well, hindered. It's made it more difficult at every step of the way. It's, it's been a very traumatic experience. Anyone, any parent who's lost a child will understand just how traumatised this whole thing has been for the family. Um, but for Jack Shepherd to act, continue to act the victim hmm. um, just and take the responsibility, it's been Graham, added are you, pressure. Are you angry? I'm, I'm, I'm more sad for, for my daughter. Mm. Um, she's had her life stolen from her. Whatever sentence the judge <clears throat> gave will never bring Charlotte back. No. I don't like the word closure um, because you don't get closure. The, the pain is always there mm. somewhere. But you, you do get this sense that you, are, you can move on and it's you can deal with thing. things better. Mm. And I feel that now. I really, truly yeah. feel that I can deal with this better now that Good. he's in jail. You know, yeah, you never really get over the loss of yeah. a family member, you always just... And people yeah. who haven't experienced it, they don't understand that you just deal with it every day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and you do. But, you know, 
time teaches you to deal with it better. Mm. I think that the point that we want to make as well is just how dangerous what he did was. I yeah. don't think that people realise how dangerous the Thames is and taking a speed boat, mm. a speed boat out Mm. you know, drinking and the faults yeah. on the speedboat in the day, let alone at night. Yeah. And you just don't think, mm. you know, a young girl going on a date, it should be the most exciting, lovely thing. Yeah. And she and would have trusted him. And, and let's not, let's not forget, known. this was, it's been well documented, this was Jack Shepard's seduction routine. Mm. And my daughter was the target that yeah. night. Katie, this has led you to uh, want legislation change and uh, yeah. tell us about that. Yes, yeah, so... Um, Going forward, we really want to drive as a family, and my mum um, has contacted uh, MPs, and the, there's upcoming an upcoming meeting to try and really drive forward um, a change in the legislation on the waterways. Um, because at the moment, if there's an, a, someone who is killed or seriously injured, it's not treated um, the same way it is on the road in a road accident. Um, the police need to have that procedure there that is on the road where if they need to breathalyse or drug test or, you know, take those people involved mm. to, for that, you yeah. know, st statement. You've got such an incredible attitude. It's just unbelievable. Yeah. Um, I can't mm. thank you enough for coming in and... Oh. Well, thank you for having us. Just, just, just on that, I'd, l I'd like to say thank you for the incredible support. Everyone we've met has given us incredible support. And not only to... every. The police um, have done a fantastic investigation, so massive thanks to the police. And also, actually, to my own MP, James Brokenshire, um, who, who assisted us throughout this process, and um, even to the point where he introduced us to the Home Secretary. Uh, it was absolutely fantastic support from everybody, and that's mm. kept us going, really. Graham, Katie, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you. Stay strong.